Hey guys, it's Mike again. And this is vlog number two of three that you'll be getting for this week. Um, this, well, this vlog I'm going to concentrate on uh, what's going on in the wrestling world and also update you guys on um, my smart out moment keeping kayfabe uh, wrestling team that's going on because we ha we're having a wrestling version of the NFL draft uh, which is kind of hilarious because we, we get to pick uh, only WWE teams and it concentrates on Raw and now Smackdown because there's, there's a bit of a change um, in regards to the rules of what's going on and it started from Extreme Rules and uh, because I managed to get the um, most answers, yeah, kind of the most answers right for um, Wrestlemania I was able to book my team and get the first draft pick so the, the first draft pick for me was John Cena who since Extreme Rules has scored me zero points even though he's the WWE Champion which is kind of hilarious. Um, the I also chose uh, Rollins and Ambrose of the Shield, uh, Biggie Langston and Cody Rhodes. Now, the funny thing about this is the Shield has managed to score me some uber points uh, for my team, and um, Ambrose, yeah, uh, you know, because he won the, the United States Championship. Rollins because he's one half of the tag team champions now. And um, the, the Shield has just gone from strength to strength. And in, in terms of being a WWE team that has really been booked correctly, it's really helped. Uh, the, the thing that makes me laugh is, why can't they book everybody else that perfectly? You know, you, you've got guys on the roster who are suffering um, from deep pushes at the moment because of the fact that they're not being booked correctly and it, it just boggles the mind really. The um, other big news which is going on this week is the debut, or should I say re-debut, of Curtis Axel, uh, the former Michael McGillicutty and if anybody's seen the, the funny promo that he did from Next uh, Season 2 where he talks about the, the moment yeah, the, the way he does it, let me just see if I can actually get the character for this, he goes, This is the moment. This moment right here is the moment of the genesis of Magirakati. And then for some reason everything just goes from a downward spiral. He's been kind of semi-mid-card um, jobber basically, but has been praised by, uh, you know, top wrestlers like The Rock and Triple H, who didn't really do him any favours this week on Raw, um, but hopefully the, the character will be elevated uh, with his association with Paul Heyman, and the fact that he's going to be um, like one of the biggest and brightest stars in the WWE, but the, the fact still remains... He didn't start off very well, you know, he got slapped in the face, treated like a... Uh, I, I, I have to say, you know, I'm going to be blatant about this, he, he was treated like Triple H's bitch. And even when Triple H was suffering from his concussion, he ended up looking, you know, still fending for himself. And it just, it, it doesn't help, it, it doesn't help the character, it doesn't help um, in terms of bringing McKillicutty up to the level he's supposed to be. But we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, in terms of who Curtis Axel is and where he'll go from there. You know, the the only way is up. So we'll, we'll see how that progresses. And he's got bragging rights at the moment for taking Triple H out. So um, just thinking what else has been going on. Oh, Slammiversary is coming up. And uh, TNA will be inducting someone else into their Hall of Fame. I bet you any money it's going to be Hulk Hogan. Any, anyone else, it will be Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, or they're saving it for AJ Styles, which I doubt at the moment. He's still very young in his career. He's not going anywhere. I think they're, they're showing a pattern where they're going to be saving this thing for old-timers, so I, I see Hogan getting the rub from this. Um, 
apart from that, there's not really much going on in, in regards to Ring of Honor. Uh, we do know at the next pay-per-view it will be Briscoe versus Briscoe. Um, and for you, all those of you who've actually been familiar with Briscoe's Twitter feed, he did say some anti-gay remarks. He didn't. I think it's just the way he's been raised, if that makes sense. He, he, he didn't mean it to be derogatory in any way. It was just a dad saying, look, you know, if you try to teach my kids that this is right, then I'm going to punch you in the face. It, you know, he's entitled to his opinion, but again, it was a public domain and, and the guy was like, they're, they're world champions. So, kind of, don't want to say that. Not, not in public. Uh, apart from that, that's, that's pretty much it. So, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also check out nerdgenius.com. The site's been redeveloped. Uh, it has my regular posts on wrestling, which is entitled Wrestle Ramblings. Uh, I did one a couple of weeks ago on the rise and fall of Ryback, and you know, talking about exactly where his push has gone, the fact that he's just being fed to too many guys, and how I feel that his star power is dwindling at the moment, especially with his very lackluster heel turn. Um, and it, it doesn't look like he's going to elevate himself any further from that. I think they they wasted an opportunity with this guy at the Royal Rumble to get him to that main event level. And you know, if, if you want to hear more about this, read the article. And remember, you can catch me on SmartOutMoment.com. That's www.SmartOutMoment.com's Smack Talk, which is every Friday. Um, posted on YouTube very regularly, so youtube.com smart out moment, and also every Thursday on Keeping Kayfabe, which is live, and on that show, wrestling still matters to us. Damn it, but still real to us, still real to us. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I, I do regular spots for that. If you want to any more wrestling related stuff from me just leave a comment i'm hoping to do a live session at some point and just allow you guys to sort of pick my brain a little bit but i'm not going to be using ustream after the disastrous i got gameplay live episode which was just terrible that's pretty much it so uh i'll see you guys for vlog number three uh which i'll be talking about other little bits and pieces so yeah see you then Bye.